What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be taking on a Gift of Peace Tempest Trial with this team. So Tharja is my main 40% bonus unit on this team and I've got my Frederick with an extreme budget set because I didn't have a client to give him Deathblow 3 so that's why I just went with Deathblow 2 and he's got Brave Axe from a 4 star unit. Now even though this is a budget set, he can work out really well after getting the Tempest Trial bonus and even take out red units as you guys will see. And I've got my Christmas Tharja and she's the best 40% bonus unit in my opinion because of her close counter. That provides her with a lot of versatility unless you're running distant counter on any of these armored units. But still armored units are not very good for Tempest Trial purpose because uh, you want to get the max speed score um, to get the max points but uh, armored units are pretty slow with only one movement unless you're using armor march and the other problem is that you cannot really use them effectively with auto battle because um, the AI will often separate your armored units from the armor march unit so that's why there are a lot of problems with armored units being 40% bonus units and then I've got my Lucina as a passive healer with renewal, reciprocal aid and her falchion so she can be pretty helpful to my two enemy phase units and then I've got my Novi at last with uh, triangle of depth and quick repose set I've not refined lightning breath because I'm saving refining stones for my Tharja and I've not given her steady breath as well I'm just rocking the old set with triangle of depth and quick repose so this is gonna be my team so let's begin with the uh, lunatic 7 battles and I'm gonna try to get the max score of 705 so we have got Titania, Seth, Katria and Cordelia alright so Titania is easily gonna go down to my Tharja Good day. and after the Tempest Trial um, bonus Tharja is extremely bulky and with Vengeful Fighter and Glacies, she can easily one run kill like pretty much everyone. Yes. So let's okay. put our units like let's this. Go. They actually missed out on a big opportunity to give us Aversa or Wallheart. Because Aversa would have been such an awesome unit to have. Like a red tone flyer with Tone Flyer skill. And she would be an amazing free to play present because. Bone Flyers is a pretty difficult skill to get and all of the um, flying mages are seasonal units so that would have made an awesome Christmas present. Indeed. They could have also given out Wallheart as a Axe Cavalier who has got a distant counter built into his weapon. We do have Camus as Xander um, as the Cavaliers with that but uh, Wallheart would be the Axe variant of distant counter. So we've got Innes and Tana. And Abora and Batre, so let's begin. Frederick is awesome. I'm gonna be using this team for auto battling. I'm probably gonna replace Lucina, I guess, with the um, weaponless healer, most likely. All right. They could have given us so many like good units as rewards for this Tempest trial, but we got another mass Lucina. The main problem with Mass Lucina is that she does not even have a skill. So for those of the people who do not really want to use her, there's nothing from her that you can make use of. If she had Aether, then people would have used that um, to give their units Aether because uh, Aether is a very expensive special along with Gale Force. And it does give you a lot of arena points. So it would have definitely helped some free to play players to stay in tier 20 arena with that ether from Mass Lucina if she had that but Mass Lucina does not have any kind of skills so that's why it's pretty disappointing to have her as a reward and then we have got Noka okay so we are starting to get the units with some skills Wrath, Reoma okay um so Lucina can easily just heal up my Noe I'll break this Okay. And Novi is going to be able to take on these units very easily. What? Yes. Novi is definitely a fantastic um, bonus unit. Because she's available as a 4 star. Same goes for Frederick. And then we have got two Lucinas as 20 person bonus units. So unfortunately my Novi is out of the quicker post range. That's why she's not going to be able to one round kill this uh, Virion. Uh, 
They could have actually given us all of the old Tempest Trial units like um, Tobin, Mass Lucina, and Clive, and no one would have complained. But people are complaining because um, only Mass Lucina was given out. And we have already got her from a mini Tempest Trial. I'm not really sure if they're gonna be doing more mini Tempest That's Trials right. in future or not. There has been only one so far, which had um, Hector as a boss. Of course. So right. I'll heal up Novi and Linda's going this way. Okay, good. So she's definitely going after Lucina. Indeed. So let's take out Lind. This Tempest Trial also gives us like a lot of good Sacred Seals. Heavy Blade is one of the best Sacred Seals we've got in this game because all of the high attack units can easily make use of that and then boost their attack from a slotty skill like Life and Death or Death Blow or even Swift Sparrow. So it's pretty good, really useful for um, a lot of the Gale Force builds on units. Alright, we have got like 4 yes. red units on this map, so Novi is gonna be devouring everyone. I've actually paired up my Novi with Frederick with ally support because... For those of you who remember my Awakening playthrough, um, I did pair up Novi with Frederick. And their support is pretty awesome as well because uh, Frederick just treats Novi as a warrior, not as a child like all other people uh, do in the army. And all the time, he just uh, requests Noe to help him with the sparring sessions, and then they fall in love. <laughs> so I really like that pairing, and uh, Frederick being father of Na gave her a lot of defense and attack from what I remember. Frederick was definitely not the best father for Na, but still, he was pretty good. Indeed. Okay, Frederick unfortunately does not take out... Um, this Luke. Of course. So Let's I'll go. let Noe do this job. Triangle Adept is probably not good on a Noe that's being used for auto battle because she would just throw herself at uh, green units and get herself killed. So that's why um I do not think that Triangle Adept is a good skill. For um, auto battling in Tempest Trial. So, when I do auto battle, I'm just gonna be uh, equipping her default defense plus three. This drug actually lives that. Wow. Alright, so let's take him out with Lucina. We might get Falchion as one of the weapons which gets a refinery in the next update because um, Mass Lucina has been given out as a free unit so I mean they can definitely just do that. So we've got Lance Breaker, Olwyn, Klein, Riss and Gordon. Uh, okay so I'll let Noe take on this Olwyn. Yes. My turn? Let's go. What? We've got two archers. Yeah, Olwyn does no damage. These awakening maps are not the best ones, but they're not really as bad as um, Moment of Fate Tempest Trial, which was the Tempest Trial where we got Black Knight as a reward. All right. So I think Novi is going to be able to Let's deal go. with all of these units now. Um. I could also have Tharja take them on. I know he does have decent defense, so yeah. He's gonna be able to deal with all of these archers and stuff. Okay, Riss is actually gonna be attacking Novi first. Oh my god, this gives me flashbacks of those memes. Those terrible memes with Riss. You guys know what I'm talking about. I do not wanna mention specifically what those memes were about, but they were terrible. They portrayed this poor Riz. Riz is such a like gentle unit in Arcanea games. They portrayed Riz so badly. It was horrible. I didn't like those memes at all. So down goes Gordon. And Noe pretty much just soloed this map. 
Okay, so Kalinas is gonna use that rally, not even attack us. We also get Io Shield as one of the Sacred Shields, which is really, really good for Bunny Camilla, actually. Makes her into a great Harsimum check um, for a Flyer Mum team. Okay, so we do not actually take you out. Um, Let's go. I really want to take you out though this turn. My turn. Indeed. Okay, I'll just put Frederick beside Noe so that they can gain some support points. If you have Winter Tharja or one of those armor Dnets, um, and you have given them distant counter, then. It's going to be pretty easy for you to auto battle. All right, so we have got Ira with Regnal Astra, Swap, Noe with Lance Breaker, and Ephraim with Bracing Blow, and Azama. Um, Noe once again is going to be able to take on these units pretty easily. And then Frederick can go ahead and take out um, Ephraim. Next turn. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Huzzah. As you can see, Tharja has not really done too much in this video because she's just so slow with her movement, and that's why armored units are definitely terrible to be used in Tempest Trials. I would actually really like a God Sacred Seal because uh, we have got a Heavy Blade Sacred Seal which improves the um, proccing of your specials and we also have Steady Breath as a very popular skill in the metagame. How do you live yes. my Frederick? What, what is this? Why do you live this? Ephraim, 35 defense, 65 HP. That's the power of steroids. Yes. Okay, so we'll attack you. Yeah, so I would really like a guard sacred seal, actually, Coming through. because we've got a lot of skills that uh, give you extra special gotcha. cooldown. So it would be amazing if we could get that. Let's go. And guard itself is a decent skill, but it's not really worth running on a slot B over something like quick repose or vantage or desperation Let's or go. anything like that. Let's heal up Noe, back God. to full. Yeah, Armored Ants can definitely be a liability in Tempest Trials. We do take out the Snowy thanks to my Moonbow. Heavy Blade is gonna be so good on like these Gale Force builds and on Blade Tome units, of course, because they can reach insane amounts of attack. Right. Units like Nino and stuff. Of course. Zama lives. Frederick, why are you not able to take out any kind of unit on this map? Yeah. It's crazy. Let's okay, go. so we'll use uh, Lucina to take you out. Our bones give me strength. This is actually Lucina I got a really long time ago. I got her from the um, voting gauntlet banner at the time when we got. Um, the original Eldigan banner. I think that its name was Sibling Bonds. So here we are on the final map. So on the final map, we'll have Robin as the boss. He's gonna be having Crooker Post. And then we will have an Armored Unit here on this position. A Cavalry Unit here. A Range Unit here. And a Melee Unit here. I've got a lot of Melee Units who are Red Units um, whenever I've played this uh, Tempest Trial. So that's pretty interesting. So... We can have... This is Elysian Castle. This is the same map where we fight. Uh, no, this is the... Yeah, I think this is the same map where we recruit Kellum and Sumia saves Krom and we get that cutscene. I don't know, I might remember it wrong, but... Kind of looks okay. like that. Yes. My turn. Krom is going to be doing only 11 damage. Falchion should receive a refining buff where it basically heals your unit for 10 HP every turn and uh, 
It has got a Breath Breaker built into it, so no dragon can double a Falchion user, and the Falchion user will always double them. That would be awesome. Alright, so let's actually move back with our units. I'm gonna have Tharja go here and swap places. Sheena's gonna be attacking my Tharja, and she's gonna get destroyed. And Mail Robin cannot really do too much to us because Tharja is just so bulky. And that is not gonna save you. And Robin is gonna be attacking her now. Does not really do too much, only 28 damage. Glacius is probably not gonna be enough to take him out. Or is it? Yeah, that's enough to take him out, wow! So as you can see, Tharja can even deal with the boss of this Tempest Trial, so... This time, Elliot's Durandal is not gonna help him slay this dragon. Of course. And we do take out Sophia by quad attacking her because she's extremely yes. slow. And after the Tempest Trial bonus, and now. my Frederick is pretty fast. All right, so down she goes, and that was my Tempest Trial run. So I'm gonna get the max score of uh, 705. There we go, and uh, this was actually really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, let me know what bonus units you're using for your Tempest Trial runs. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on more Fire Emblem Heroes content like this. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.